For the past few weeks, we have been telling you about a discriminatory sign at one Southside business, a sign that has Fort Wayne's Burmese community calling on Mayor Henry to take action. This morning, he did. He met with leaders of that community to talk about ways to improve relations. News Channel 15's Janice Allen talked to both sides afterward. Janice, this all started with that sign at Rickers. Yep, that's right. As we've reported, that sign said, for sanitary purposes, there are no Burmese people allowed. It wasn't posted for very long, but it's led to a pretty big wake-up call that something needs to change. We are not different from here. We, we are American, too. It turns out this small sign posted at Ricker's laundromat is shedding light on a bigger problem, the need to improve how thousands of Burmese refugees are integrated into the Summit City. There is certainly a need for cultural education for both Burmese immigrants and refugees and our entire community. This morning, Mayor Henry met with leaders of the Burmese community. They spent more than an hour talking about the programs and tools needed to increase tolerance and improve education. This is opportunity that opened the door for everyone. We can learn what is our rights and also what is our responsibilities. It's not just one person or, or a few people. We are asking everybody in the community to help us out. The city plans to work with agencies around Fort Wayne, expanding services to the Burmese. Services like English education, job training, and programs targeted to outside businesses about the Burmese culture. Despite criticism that the city hadn't acted fast or aggressively enough following the Ricker sign, most seem satisfied after the meeting. Very good for future of this meeting. We started. We're beginning right now, so that's, that's good. And leaders say that there will be more meetings and a new task force is also in the works. Live in News Control tonight, I'm Janice Allen, News Channel 15. Still to come.